Hello everyone, welcome back to Garden Fever. This is Corey Lefever coming to you from Northern Utah. And uh, the dead plant you are seeing in front of you is a emerald green arborvita. And uh, I was replacing them today. I lost a couple last year. Um, I've grown uh, 33 of these plants before, so uh, I've grown quite a few of them. But last year, I slacked on the watering. I had read that uh, uh, you have to water them quite a bit for the first two, uh, one to two years. It was the third year, so I slacked a little bit on the watering, and, and this one died. So I got a rep actually four of them did total. So today I've been replacing them, and I thought it would be a good chance for me to go over uh, arborvitas for you so that you had a better understanding. Um, I'm planning... They're about that size. So I would say roughly, I don't know, 13, 14 inches maybe. But anyway, I, the ones that you see right here are the survivors. And they've been growing for about three years, three, four years. Yeah, right there, you can see. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm planting smaller ones because I replaced one. One of them died on the original 33 and I planted it small and it caught up really quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant these even though they might be a little uneven. But anyway, breakdown on this plant is they grow straight up. They can get to 10 to 15, but most people are probably gonna grow them around 10 feet um, total. And they get to be about three to four feet wide. Um, you can plant them really close. They're generally grown for privacy screens, which is what I uh, put in for because behind me was a bunch of fields and then they brought in a bunch of houses and cookie cuttered them and brought them in all close so I wanted a little bit of privacy in my garden so um, I planted these originally these are not exactly water t uh, tolerant uh, plants they actually require quite a bit of water if you're in a in an environment that gets lots of water you'd be fine but here in Utah we're really dry so uh, you actually have to water them quite a bit and that's why I'm doing this video because um, as you can see by that one that uh, I watered them pretty pretty religiously the first year or two and I still lost some the moment I slacked off so I'm saying I'm gonna say about three years you gotta water them they like acidic soil but they can grow in clay and and of course loose and loomy and stuff but they they do well this is clay soil and they do actually really well so um, they do you can prune them and shape them uh, it's good to tie them up in the winter, FYI, they will fold over and just shape them and make them grow crooked. So to keep them straight and to keep them kind of uniform, you want to tie them up in the winter and it is, it is, it is necessary to do that. So anyway, uh, throughout the video I'll put the rest of the information that I know about them. But see, I probably to put two in right there next to my compost bin. So. I mind the yard I haven't weed whacked in a while so over here but where I got them I've let it grown but uh, one last shot and then I'll let you guys go this is garden fever thanks for uh, coming and watching with me and we'll be back later with more videos